Ahem, 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 ahem. All right, yo, what is up, guys? I'm back in our video, and today we are gonna be doing a tier list. I was just thinking about it last night, and I was like, I've never seen someone do a scrap like the scrap tier list that you find in Lethal Company. Basically, how I'm gonna be mate this video and how I'm gonna be deciphering what is good and what is bad is there's gonna be a bunch of factors how common it is to find its cost the weight what the sound is because if it makes a sound it could be bad because if you're going out at night and you know for example like the robot it doesn't shut the f up um you're gonna die to the, the eyeless dog I don't know if I'm pretty sure every item that's in the game um is in here I do not know what that is I've never seen that before so I'm guessing that's just another type of mask I've never seen this type of mask before um so i don't know how i'm gonna rank this one because i've seen you before this <laughs> i've seen you before oh, no! oh! <laughs> let's just get into this so of course we're gonna start off with the horn horn is actually pretty common on most maps um you're probably gonna find this one it you know the the cost of it ranges from anywhere from 50 to even 100 sometimes and it doesn't weigh a lot and it makes the beautiful sound of blowing a horn it's honestly an s tier it's fairly common it has a good price it, it's funny anyway the apparatus now the apparatus is an interesting one because it technically has like a hundred percent spawn rate not a hundred percent but at least a ninety percent sometimes the mat all the maps that are mansions don't have it and but most of the maps are just like the normal layout always have an apparatus it's very rare that they don't it's like the power core for the facility so if you find it all the lights are going to go out and it's going to be kind of more hard to see but that's you know if you have a flashlight then you're fine and it costs a roughly around 80 to 90 you know in that range i think that it do the price actually doesn't change it's like around it's like right at like 85 of course when you first load up the game It'll just say question marks because it's like some weird cool thing. I think it's probably an A tier. The beehive. The beehive is actually really good. It's like a high risk, high reward item. You know, they go in, they're like over a hundred. They're like a hundred twenty. They're like a hundred twenty dollars. So they're pretty good. I would say if you are smart and you have a teammate, then you should definitely grab this. So I'm gonna put it actually at A. But of course, do not put it in the ship. If you put it at the ship to start, your entire team is dead. All right, the bottles. The bottles are actually a really solid one because they are very frequent in literally every single map. And they're, you know, you're going to find multiple of them. Like, you're never going to just, like, find one bottle. They're anywhere from, like, 50 to even 70 sometimes. So I'm going to say they're probably S. I know there's a lot of S's and A's, but trust me, there's a couple of shitters coming up. The bell. Bell's actually pretty solid. It does weigh a lot, but it is not a hands full item. Oh yeah, I forgot it for I say. We are gonna be ranking it also if it's a hands full item or it's not. So of course this would be S because it's not it doesn't weigh that much and it's not a hands full item. So of course that would be S. And of course bottles would be S because it's really frequent to find and it's like fifty money dollars. Like it's you know, it's easy. It doesn't weigh that much. The bell though. I think it weighs, it's on the higher side on weight, but it does cost like 70 to 80, so it is pretty good. If you could press a button and have it like, have it go like, ding, 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 I think that would put it at the A, but I'm going to keep it at B. This one kind of looks weird. I don't know if this is actually the stop sign, but it, yeah, it's the stop sign. Um, yeah, the stop sign's pretty solid. It's like, it weighs 20, but you can use it as a weapon, and it isn't a hands full item. But, you know, it's still solid. It's fairly common. It's definitely way more common than the yield sign. I'll put it at A tier. The cash register. Ooh, we got a heater. We got a heater. The, this is probably the most rare item in the game. It's really cool because it's it rain, the price ranges from, like, 120 to 150 so the price is there but it's rarity and how heavy it is i think it's like the heaviest item in or like the heaviest hands full item in the game the thing that makes me want to put at s tier when you, when you click it it makes that cha-ching sound oh we'll leave it at a we'll leave it at bottom of a chemical jug is definitely on the rarer side but it, it's still pretty solid so i am gonna be putting it it's it's a little bit more than the bottles it's around 70 still the weight to the price ratio still doesn't really move me on this we'll be putting it at b so the the other horn the brother it's just like the blow horn it's just it's like the little like honky honky like you, you know like how you're you like squeeze on the tid it's it's decent um i don't like it more than this and it's you know it's the same way i think you should always pick it up so it should realistically be s tier but i just like the horn a little bit more so i'm gonna be putting it i'll put it at s i'll put it at s the cup 
Another one that's a little bit rare on the rare side. I don't see this one a lot, but it's very light and it costs like eight. So I'm going to be putting at A, this this guy right here. This one's this guy's a fun one because I didn't know the first time that they he got added. I didn't know what it did, so I was like looking at it. I was like trying to put it on my head and stuff like that, and then I just like got possessed. Or it doesn't weigh that much, but it doesn't have a high cost. Like you would think something can possess you and is like some like ancient thing, I would suppose, would be like at least 80. Or I'm gonna put it at B. The cookie metal sheet. This one, this one doesn't really move me. It's, so I'll put it at C. Um, same thing with the dusting pan. This guy right here, I forgot what you are, but the fucking cake cooking we'll put you at b because this this guy moves me a little bit more Ooh, the lamp the lamp is very common on the mansion maps and it has a hella high price it's like it revolves anywhere around the 90 to 120 range s tier science thing it's it revolves anywhere around that 50 to 70 range it's pretty light but it is pretty rare, so I'm going to put it at an A tier. You should always pick this one up. I just It just doesn't move me enough to put it at S. Present is interesting because it's not, it doesn't weigh a lot, but it can drop something that is that weighs a ton. This thing could drop, I don't know, I've never seen it before, but it, I, it technically can drop anything in the game. So I'm going to put it at S. I think you should always pick these up, and they're fairly common. The gold bar, this with the cash register, probably have like the same rarity. I've seen the cash register twice. I've seen the gold bar twice twice uh, out of the hundreds of games i've played in one time i found both of them in one game yeah i don't know it it doesn't really do anything it doesn't have the clicky sound it weighs a ton for not being a hands full item um but i it does i think it should be an a tier i'm gonna put at a now we got this uh this beautiful little thing right here of course another one that is uh very common on the mansion map it you know it's around 70 to 80 money dollars pretty solid it isn't a, a hands full item so and and it doesn't weigh a terrible amount so i'm tempted to put this at s tier the hairbrush this one's like a solid b it doesn't weigh a lot it looks cool because it doesn't really look like a brush it just kind of looks you know wonky the, the the blow dryer uh i've only seen this on titan i have never seen this on a mansion map or any of the maps before i've never seen the, I, the only time i've seen this is on titan but it's pretty cool you can click it it's pretty hefty price on it it's like 90 put at b actually we'll put it at a because it's pretty solid it's solid. the flashbang these things don't weigh a lot but they are flashbangs so it's a makeshift flashbang so it, it could save you i wouldn't always pick it up because the price is like 20 like it's not a lot it's not meant to be sold it's meant to be kept and used as a flashbang a pickle jar just a very solid one it's not incredibly rare it's like an 80 you can find it on every map it's just very so i'm gonna put an s tier the large axle hot take but um i'm putting this at like b i don't i don't know it's just it doesn't it doesn't move me it does not move me the nuts and bolts or whatever you want to call it this one moves me a little bit we're gonna put that at the b it's nothing insane the laser pointer this thing is actually pretty good it is pretty rare if it actually had a purpose that'd be even better but it doesn't have any purpose it just looks cool so maybe if they eventually somehow bring a purpose with this thing i'll put it at a the eight ball i only find this on the mansion maps i don't see it enough to know what the price is i'm gonna just say it's like around 50 to 60 we're gonna just put this one at b magnifying glass this one's actually one of my favorite looking things in the game so i'm just gonna be putting it at s it has a good price it's not ridiculously rare pretty common you can find on every single map it's just very solid item Heather metal sheet you can go at c you, you do not move me at all the phone the phone is pretty rare but i think it could implement some sort of lore very weird you can just hear like people like screaming on their side of it who knows that could be like secret lore that it's just pretty mid like you don't i don't know it's like a b it doesn't move me the painting you can it's just like the lamp yeah, you can find it on mansions they're really expensive and they're not ridiculously heavy but that's the weight to price ratio is pretty good on it so we're gonna be putting it at s the perfume this one's like around 70 to 80 um it's pretty small doesn't weigh a ton so we're gonna be putting that at a the pill bottle i have no clue i've never seen a pill bottle in lethal company this thing might be more rare i don't know if it only spawns on like titan or something like that but i I've never seen i've never found a pill bot i don't know if it's like a modded item so i i'm just gonna leave it there i i cannot price it well i've i've never picked one up the fish the fish is always fun but it's pretty low price doesn't weigh a lot but it's pretty low price you're gonna probably drop this if your inventory is full same thing with the soda can you can go on to be the remote 
the realm mode's really fun because when you're in the ship you can just keep spamming it and the lights will go on and off we're gonna put it at b the robot the robot is a very weird one because it is a high risk high reward item price revolves around anywhere around 70 to 100 sometimes but it makes that god awful sound just not ideal unless if you're bringing it back uh, when there's still daylight because if you're doing that then it's worth it. so we're gonna be putting you at b as well rubber ducky um you can squeak it i think this is like the most s tier item ever yeah steering wheel you do not move me whatsoever you're probably gonna drop these so you know you can see a common ratio with the c tier it's just bland wait you're the stop sign what the fuck are you? I'm guessing that's a different type of melee weapon. Well, we're putting the stop sign at A, because that's what I thought it was. I have no clue what this is. Can someone in the comments tell me what the hell that is? Because I've never seen that before. Tea kettle, you don't really move me. The dentures. Dentures are a bit like the uh, these guys. They're definitely an A tier, because they sound cool, they look cool, they're, they're not a ridiculously amount of weight. And the sound isn't that annoying. The toothpaste, you'll find these on the mansion maps and maybe on the titan maps, but I'm pretty sure it's just the mansion maps. I don't know, they range around 15 to 30, so I'm gonna just put them at B. They're not, they're nothing insane. Same thing with the Rubik's Cube, you can go at B too. Um, I don't know what this crying mask is. Again, not gonna vo vote that one. V8 engine. Hot take, this thing is the worst item in the game. I'm telling you this right now, I feel like everyone, it's, it's the first D item, and I think it's the only... I d oh, never mind. It's not the first. The ring, you can only find it on the mansion map. It's pretty expensive, but it doesn't weigh a lot. It's fairly common, so we're going to be putting that at a solid A. And the whoopee cushion, oh, haha, -ha funny. Um, We're going to be putting you also at the A. You, I understand why you were at the back of the line. You're also going at D. This item is so, like, it's pretty rare. You're not going to see it often. And it weighs a ton. Like, the only thing that kind of saves this one, makes me want to put at C tier, is that you can use it as a weapon. So I actually am going to be putting you at C, because you can use it as a weapon. But yeah, this was the tier list. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. You know, if I have something wrong, of course I might have some of the rankings wrong, but this is just what I personally believe. Yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, peace.